guys, uh, Rubber Trap Renegade. Uh, it's been a busy morning, but I've actually got a little bit of free time. Now, I'm going to go look for a fender. I think I found one. Um, you guys know I'm in real estate, but this morning I had a real estate closing, and so it's always nice to have a sale, but uh, today in particular was actually, um, my closing was me buying another property, so um, you guys know I have some rentals, and I found a really good deal on a duplex. Uh, most of my rentals are single family homes, but uh, I found this duplex, and I couldn't pass it up, just the, the numbers made sense, and um, but now I'm going to go look for a fender. Um, for this thing when I'm talking to you about the rentals uh, some of you guys put some comments uh, and I say some of you only a couple of you commented on my rental property and they would never own a house and be tied down to a house or anything but um, just real quick uh, you know when you pay rent if you're a tenant and you rent something uh, when you write that check every month or you, the cash or whatever you never get any of that back so it's gone. Once you pay the rent, it's gone. Um, when you own a house, whether it's, you know, it doesn't have to be a rental, but if you buy a house to live in, um, at least in my area, you can find a decent a decent little house for fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000, which with the interest rates the way they are now, uh, you're, you're going to be paying less, for, less than you would for rent. And if you decide to sell it, you're going to get some of that money back. So you're better off buying something. And what I like about rental, uh, property is most of my rentals uh, they're you know I bought them as a foreclosure or I bought them as uh, an estate and I put a little bit of money into them so I've got some equity already and then uh, when I rent them out um, I make a profit uh, because I cover my mortgage on them and then I put some money in my pocket so um, if you start buying rental property and you get several and you're making money on each of them uh, if one sits vacant uh, for a month or two in between tenants, it's it's okay, it's fine. But when they're all rented, uh, it, you just got money, it's passive income. Uh, so with my rental properties, uh, I do pretty good with them. Once I, once I get these rental properties paid off, uh, which is the goal, uh, to get them paid off sooner than uh, my mortgage. So say my mortgage is 20 years. Uh, if I pay all of the profit towards those uh, mortgages, I can pay them off. The way I've got it added up, uh, I can pay those off in 10 years just with the rent. Um, if I add more of my earnings to that, I can pay them off a lot quicker. So um, if I can get everything paid off in several years, and that will just all be passive income. So, and then I can travel as much as I want to. Uh, I might have to come back in town every once in a while for you know maintenance or whatever, but uh, yeah, uh, that's just kind of where I'm at on the rentals. But I'm gonna go check out this uh, uh, junkyard here and try to find a fender. They've got one on the shuttle bus from uh, what I understand. So let's see what I can find. at this uh, shuttle bus and it has a good fender on it um, it's actually got a good bumper on it too um, I'll probably grab the bumper and the fender 
Let's see what I can, I can get this door open. One thing about this uh, shuttle bus is I can't get to the bolts uh, right here to get the fender off unless I take some of the interior off. Um, so I'm going to get started on that and see if I can yank that off of there. Here I had to take the wiper cowl off to get a bolt there. I've got all the bolts under there. So let me show you in here. There's a bolt in there somewhere in all that spray foam insulation that I've got to get out. That's the only thing holding that fender on. So now I've got to find that bolt. So this has been a job. All right, well there it is. I've got that fender and that chrome bumper. Now, um, that was a job getting that off of there. I didn't think it would be that bad, but you just had to take off everything to get to that fender. You have to take off the wiper cowl. Um, you have to take off the grill, uh, at least uh, bust it loose to get that grill loose so you can get to a bolt and then of course that spray foam that was just terrible um, I understand why they did the spray foam for sure but just getting to that bolt was a challenge because I just chip at that uh, spray foam insulation and you'd think you'd be at the bolt and I'd go look at the driver's side and try to figure out where that bolt was and I just chip and chip and chip and not find the bolt but it after a little bit of digging I found it um, that bumper came off pretty good uh, it's in good shape I'll probably plasti dip it uh, black um, I'm thinking I'm gonna paint this whole van tan and then paint all the accessories black so like the ladder would be black the bumper will be black um, tint the windows uh, limo tent um, probably even the wheels do the wheels black I think it would look really good um, everything uh, black and tan so uh, that's the plan I'm gonna get home I'm probably not gonna put this fender on today uh, it's already uh, about five o'clock it's getting dark or it'll be dark by the time I get home um, and I'm just wore out so uh, I'll probably put that on later this week or this weekend and uh, probably just drive the van like that for now it might be a while before I start painting it because I've got a couple other things that are gonna take priority but uh, thanks for coming along with me and I'll see you next time.